Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain correlation. And to explain correlation, these are my session outlines where I'll explain first basics of correlation. Then I'll cover function of correlation. Then we will discuss two types of correlation, autocorrelation and cross-correlation. And we will see its importance. So see, what is correlation? So correlation, that is what a mathematical function and this mathematical function explains similarity in between two signals. So it is a measure of correlation. Like see if you have been given with two signal x1 and x2 and if you find correlation of these two signal then it that correlation value that will justify similarities in between two signals. If correlation of two signals is zero in that case one can say there is no similarity in between two signals. So correlation explains you similarity in between two signals. So let me mention that basic correlation is similarity of two signals. So if correlation value is zero, then one can say there is no similarity in between two signals. If correlation is zero, then there is no similarity in between two signals. So basically correlation is a measure of similarities in between two signals. Now I'll define function of correlation. See if you have two signals x1 and x2. If we have two signals x1t and x2t then correlation in between two signals that is been defined as R of 2 where 2 is shifting parameter where 2 is shifting parameter so that is summation integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x1t into x2 of t minus 2 d2 dt sorry so see ultimately here correlation that is what a measure of similarities in between two signals if you have two signals x1t and x2t then correlation in between two signals is been defined as x1t into x2 of t minus 2 and even one can calculate correlation by shifting other signal here i have shifted x2 with parameter 2 even one can shift x1 with 2 shifting so this could be even minus infinity to infinity x1 of t minus 2 into x2 dt. So ultimately either you shift x1 with shifting parameter 2 either you shift x2 with shifting parameter 2 and you can be able to calculate R of 2. If you have complex signal if you have complex signal in that case any one out of 2 can be considered as conjugate of it. Like see we have two complex signal x1t and x2t. In that case calculation of correlation one should consider either x2 as conjugate of its value or x1 out of these two any one signal should be considered as conjugate. So by star I am placing it x2 as a conjugate over here and uh, over here if I consider x2 as a conjugate of that then over here I need to play star. So for real signal it will be x1t into x2 of t minus 2 integration from minus infinity to infinity. But in case of conjug uh, in case of complex signal one should consider one signal as a conjugate of that and then they should multiply it and integrate it over minus infinite to infinite. Here tau is very important parameter that tau is showing you shifting parameter 
so that tow value will define by what quantity signal will get shifted and based on that we will be correlating two signals so as i have told you i like i'll cover this session with one more agenda that is types of correlation so when we talk about types so there are basically two types one is auto correlation and second is cross correlation now see in auto correlation all we have is we have only one signal and we are shifting that one signal with respect to shifting parameter tau and then we are calculating correlation in cross correlation we have two different signals and we calculate correlation of it as i have mentioned it over here so for auto correlation if i say in auto correlation i have signal x of t with shifting parameter to then auto correlation of signal that we can say r of to that is been calculated as per minus infinite to infinite x of t into x of t minus to dt and for conjugate complex signal one signal should considered as conjugate of it and r to that could be a notation of auto correlation in some books you will be finding notation is given as per r11 so here only one signal is there so r11 is what auto correlation and in cross correlation you have two signals x1t and x2t so for cross correlation there are two signals one is x1t and x2t and if you have shifting parameter to then auto correlation calculation that is been defined as r12 of to and that is some integration from minus infinite to infinite x1t x2t minus to d2 or one can shift x1 so that could be even integration from minus infinite to infinite x1t minus to x2t sorry it is dt so see this is what cross correlation so in cross correlation r12 that is what cross correlation is between 1 and 2 and in that uh, this second signal x2 that will get shifted and in case of r21 we need to shift x1 by shifting parameter to and usually cross correlation that we are using it to find similarities in between signal two signals so cross correlation that is been used to identify similarity in between two signals and auto correlation that is been utilized to identify similarity of that signal with its shifted version so cross correlation that is been utilized it is used to find similarities in between two different signals so here i have considered two different signal x1t and x2t so this is what the basic purpose of cross correlation and when you calculate auto correlation that is to identify similarities of that signal with its shifted version so auto correlation it is used to find similarities between signal and signal x of t and shifted 
सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस टू सो दिस इज वॉट द बेजिक पर्पज दैट वी हैव इट टू आइडेंटिफाई ऑटो को रिलेशन सो बेसिकली को रिलेशन दैट इज जस्टिफाइंग सिमिलरिटीज इन बिटवीन टू सिग्नल्स यू कैन सी आई हैव डिफाइंड इट अर्लियर एंड इफ को रिलेशन इज जीरो देन वन कैन से दर इज नो सिमिलरिटी इन बिटवीन टू सिग्नल्स इफ वी हैव टू सिग्नल्स एक्स वन टी एंड एक्स टू टी देन को रिलेशन इन बिटवीन टू सिग्नल्स दैट विल बी आर ऑफ टू दैट इज इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फाइनाइट टू इन्फाइनाइट एक्स वन टी इंटू एक्स टू टी माइनस टू फॉर रियल एंड फॉर इमेजनरी सिग्नल एक्स टू कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ इट एंड देन डू सेम प्रोसेस फॉर अ को रिलेशन कैलकुलेशन एंड इवन इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी एक्स टू गेट शिफ्टेड बाई टू शिफ्टिंग पैरामीटर यू कैन शिफ्ट एक्स वन बाई शिफ्टिंग पैरामीटर टू एंड यू कैन डू सेम प्रोसेस देर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑटो को रिलेशन एंड क्रॉस को रिलेशन ऑटो को रिलेशन ऑफ सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी विथ शिफ्टिंग पैरामीटर टू इज बीन डिफाइंड एज आर वन वन ऑफ टू एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम सम इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फाइनाइट टू इन्फाइनाइट एक्स टी इन टू एक्स टी माइनस टू डी टी वेर दिस स्टार इंडिकेट्स कॉन्जुगेट इन केस ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स सिग्नल विच इज गिवन टू यू इफ इट इज रियल सिग्नल देन यू डोंट नीड टू कॉन्जुगेट एनीथिंग इट विल बी एक्स टी इंटू एक्स टी टी एक्स टी इंटू एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस टू एंड फॉर क्रॉस को रिलेशन सिग्नल्स आर एक्स वन टी एंड एक्स टू टी विथ शिफ्टिंग पैरामीटर टू इट इज बीन डिफाइंड एज आर वन टू इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फाइनाइट टू इन्फाइनाइट एक्स टी इंटू एक्स टू टी माइनस टू दैट इज फॉर आर वन टू एंड फॉर आर टू वन इट विल बी हैविंग शिफ्टिंग ऑफ एक्स वन सो इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एक्स वन टी माइनस टू इंटू एक्स टू टी डी टी क्रॉस को रिलेशन आइडेंटिफाइज सिमिलरिटी इन बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट सिग्नल्स एंड ऑटो को रिलेशन आइडेंटिफाइज सिमिलरिटी इन बिटवीन दैट सिग्नल विथ शिफ्टेड वर्जन ऑफ इट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट को रिलेशन फंक्शन आई होप दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इन नेक्स्ट सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन यू ऑटो को रिलेशन ऑफ एनर्जी सिग्नल एंड देन आफ्टर वी विल सी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑटो को रिलेशन फॉर एनर्जी सिग्नल एंड आई विल डिराइव ईच प्रॉपर्टी विथ प्रूफ so you just stay tuned with this channel and you can give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video